Alrighty ho everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange Part 3. First two parts were pretty freaking awesome. We're getting into the mood of rewinding time and uh, changing our futures and see what happens next. But uh, yes, we're in the dorm rooms right now. We have to get a flash drive and go meet our friend in the parking lot because that's what he wants. Uh, what does this say? Juliet, extreme reporter. Alright. So, boarding school, dorm boarding school, Blackwell. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. What is that little fire alarm? At least that's an alarm from this century. <laughs> they live. Yep. Alright, where is our dorm room? Right here. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Okay, uh, laptop? There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. And what next? Where's the flash drive? Ooh, mom. Happy birthday, Maxi. Maxine. <laughs> you can't believe this is all 18 years since you were brought to us. Oh, it's her birthday today? No. Is it? No. It's today's the 10th. Max, your principal sent me an email saying you told him the tales about the Blackwell honor student is that true the principal said he was serious false charge and you worried that telling stories call me asap to call you really seriously i did not 100 percent lie well i didn't even lie at all it's hard to believe i'm 18 now i'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood all right well that worked uh where is this flash drive Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Well, who's Chloe? <laughs> I have no idea who Chloe is. Hi-fi. Stop that. <laughs> um, where's this? Where, where is it? Where's the flash drive? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need a bag, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Well, it's just it's not that bad though, because Dana's. You can't get right out now, there. Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Okay. Uh, what's going Welcome on? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. I'm gonna Answer you listen to what she's saying right now. You are ridiculous. Ugh. If you don't let me out, well, I guess she's not saying that much, so let's speak to her. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Mason? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Well, now I know. Ha 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 ha. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. This is so Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked <laughs> Dana really in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Uh, how did you know? Would Dana do that? Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. 
crazy. Huh. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. What's in her room? Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. All right, so we have to go to a room. What, what room, though? She's trying to contact her boyfriend. This is middle school. Oh, not middle school. This is high school for you guys. This is high school. Uh, let's just look at everyone's room and see if we can get into one. Or was it her? Was it our room that she needed? Um, laptop. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. All right, those are good. One Look. day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. What TV do we have? <laughs> I don't think we have any HD TVs. Um, so, I don't know. Lie down, teddy bear, note. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. All right, uh, let's look at her stuff. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a Okay, no, no, no. Hard to no. believe I'm 18. I already did that. So, we need to get her out of the room so I can get the damn hard drive. Is this it? Ah, okay. Gazette. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Tablet, here we go. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? <laughs> Maybe I will join her posse. Wait a second, is this the girl that we were just talking to? Like the actual one that was outside with her cashmere coat? I'll give Victoria props, boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Print this puppy. Uh, print email. Bam. Grab it. This Speed better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Hell is snooping in people's rooms. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. <laughs> You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You Ooh. set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. All right. Let's get the flash drive. Totally 80s film night. <laughs> Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Flash drive. There we go. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to <laughs> chase it down again. True litter outfit. This game reminds me of Bully also, like boarding school-esque. In like a, like a New England setting. The one missed from Warren. Uh, the more I text you, longer I take on my way. Bye. Bye. Alright. So let's go get this to Warren, uh, see what else all the fuss is about. Where is the park? The parking lot. Okay. Fuck this shit! Ow. I'm from Victoria. By the way, 
thanks, but we're not friends. <laughs> okay. Damn, I better rewind. Why? Why would you say that? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any. Fuck this shit. Ow, okay. That hurt. Is this. Who is this? Zach. Oh, I think that's the guy who was sexting? I always get a little giddy when I think about how Okay, my where, own where's, here. where's the uh, parking lot? Main building, athletic field. I think it's this way. I don't know why she said let's rewind. So. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. What was I supposed to do? Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. All right, then you would go. That was we so over time. the line. I could rewind and try something different. Yes. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. That's fine. Get out of here, hick. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. All right, well, I guess that was good. I felt like an everyday hero. Huh. Why were they talking? I mean, they did. Kate did do a porno, I guess, so they might have a, a relationship. Going to the parking lot. See if our boyfriend's there. I think that's him all the way over there. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I don't get it. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Do that to me. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Zach. I won't bother you. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. <laughs> I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Making friends, seeing what's going on. What was that? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this game is not for everybody, but it's an interesting experience. Well, it's this truck. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Arcade Bay, what is her name? Rachel Amber. Amber Rachel? Rachel Amber? I think that's her name, Rachel Amber. <laughs> what the heck? Some Who toilet paper's a bike? Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Cars equal death. Oh, some hippie conspiracies. Let's actually give this guy his Max, hard drive now. Get your ass over here. And there's Warren. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. 
Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. 60 then, miles so away. <laughs> you okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Oh god, that movie. <laughs> oh no, that's such a... Oh, it's gross. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Oh, so not at all. Uh, faster pussycat kill kill. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. Don't want to speak about it. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between I can you rewind and me, time. not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh god, this You're one douche. of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal? Now. Crap, um, I told him the Answer truth. Answer me, bitch! I told him the I truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. I could call the police. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the down. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! No, he has Get a gun! Him, what are you talking about? <laughs> Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! You just left your boyfriend to get killed. Oh, security. Okay, good. <laughs> what? Hey, Johnny Cash. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Thanks. Don't give for me the guilty me. face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. I had no idea. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I guess. 
I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. <laughs> Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. All right. Oh, I can't rewind. Dang it. <laughs> Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Thanks. So that is the friend. And I think, finally... We'll start the mystery. If there is a mystery. I don't know if there is. So far, we're just regular kids. Maybe stuff will start to change now that we're actually at home. Oh. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Ah, medicate. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching part three. Intense stuff's happening. We got uh, actually precaution. Or re 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 repercussion. That, that's what I wanted to say. A repercussion of me telling the principal that he had the gun and he thought it was going to kill me. Or the boyfriend. But anyways, I'm going to end this, this one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. And if you did, hit like and subscribe for more gameplay videos. And life is strange as I upload them. Until next time, everyone. Peace.